This one was too good to miss today. This is for your eyes only. A couple of years old now and in full flower. They start as this sort of colour. And as they age, they develop into that sort of colour. And as you can see, a lot of flowers. Right, going down here. Won't make this too long. Fragrant Delight. I was saying the other day that it's doing, well, there are two of them. They are doing very well this year. I was a bit disappointed last year, but this year they're really putting on a very good show. If I get back a bit, you can see from this side too. This is about four foot tall. Perhaps individually not glorious colours, or sorry, glorious flowers. But not bad. Alright, quickly over here. It's a wonderful life. Here we have It's a Wonderful Life. New this year for me. There's a better one. And Chippendale. An early flower and a late flower. Wedding anniversary. Again, another one that I was disappointed with last year. The stems seem to be very fragile still. They break easily. But a very attractive lemony rose. And you can see there lots of buds. Again, that's about four foot tall. Iceberg, I never really look at iceberg, but it's, again, the close up of the flowers is not usually very attractive, but the impression they give at a distance is of brightness and cheerfulness. And next to it we have the poet's wife. Ooh, nice spider. Beginning to get a bit more upright and this is almost shoulder height for me which is somewhere around five foot maybe. And I commented before on the uh, Gabriel Oak, that's Gabriel Oak there in the middle, standing up. And here are some more stems from him, again five foot plus. And just beginning to get another flush of Lady of Shalott and Desdemona. Right, shall I leave you that? No, I'll leave you the usual view. <laughs> there, a bit of colour.